Hey guys, so Chaney from Laser Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about the original God Guns in Battlefield Hardline. So these are the two best guns that were the best guns pretty much since the game's been out. Um, we've got a lot of new DLC weapons that have become pretty good guns in this game since launch, but on day one, these were the two best guns. They're the M16 and the, sorry, the M16A3 and the M416. These two uh, since launch, even since the beta, have been pretty much the two best weapons uh, with a very fast fire rate and high damage. Uh, they can just absolutely rip through people, and you're going to see that in these clips today. I only played with them for about an hour or less, and I was able to get all of these clips with them just absolutely going off. And I was... It, these, <laughs> these guns are just ridiculous. Honestly, they just absolutely melt people at close and long range because of that high fire rate and not too high recoil and uh, I'd say the M416 is a bit better especially st statistically but I do have twice as many kills with the M16A3 so I can't really uh, judge it from that sense since I am a lot better with the M16A3 but again statistically the M416 is the better weapon. Now again I do have gold on the M16A3 um, it was one of the first guns that I got gold after the Scout Elite uh, and some of the snipers and I'm working towards that in the M416 now I've about 750 kills but um, these guns just are so good to use especially when I was playing crossfire competitive a lot uh, not crossfire crosshair and rescue these were two of the best weapons to use when playing uh, competitive battlefield just because of the time to kill that they have um, again I don't know why these never got nerfed maybe it's just because they wanted people to have that aspect of nostalgia from Battlefield 3 uh, with the M16A3 and Battlefield 4 with the M416. But uh, both these guns are just extremely good and that's one thing Hardline didn't necessarily do. They didn't really change the balance of the game after launch. Um, that can be looked at as a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, one thing that makes it good is that people can find a set role, set guns, get good with them. And they don't really have to worry about the meta of the game really changing much after launch. Whereas games like Call of Duty now, they seem to change balance a lot after launch in order to um, sort of keep the game balanced and not have overpowered weapons. They seem to kind of lose the meta of the game. And uh, that's one thing that kind of stinks. I'm all for balance in like the first month or so, especially with broken guns and if new DLC comes out that uh, brings broken guns as well like for example the K10 that needed a heavy nerf at launch since it had a nasty three shot kill range but uh, other than that I'm all for just keeping the meta of the game and uh, that just ended up playing in favor of the M416 and the M16A3 two guns that just absolutely tear through people I only did play a few games with these uh, I mostly played heist and blood money uh, some on um, bank job, we played Hollywood Heights, and we also played Dust Bowl. Um, the only gun that seems to out, that I was noticing would like outmatch me and stuff, I know there are guns that statistically do better, but the only gun that people seem to use a lot that would outmatch me was the foul. That was really the only one that I had trouble with uh, beating time to kill wise. But other than that, I was running pretty good flank roads as well to get behind the enemy so that I would ensure that I wasn't really getting <laughs> too many fair engagements. I was more just shooting the enemy from behind the back more than anything. And uh, that's what I like about this game is the maps are pretty, they're not like three lane standard maps, there's a lot of different levels and flanking routes and stuff. So you can generally shoot the enemies from behind a lot if you know the maps well and uh, you can flank pretty often as well, which I, th I think makes this game pretty good and uh, the fact that the maps aren't that linear is also a positive. Again, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Tell me what you think about these two god guns in Battlefield. Should they have been nerfed? Do you not even like them yourself? Or are they your favorite guns in the game? Tell me what you think down below in the comments. But that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.